Thank you, Barry. Well, state lawmakers are demanding answers from the ATF about the pre-dawn house raid in March that led to the shooting death of Brian Malinowski, the late executive director of Bill and Hillary Clinton National Airport. Channel 7's Andrew Mobley was at the press conference today and has more. Legislators, as well as the attorney general, are calling for the ATF to release body cam footage from the deadly raid. We want the truth to come out. And so that's why my legislative colleagues are here and Representative Duffield and I are calling on the Bureau of Alcohol, Tobacco and Firearms to immediately release the body cam footage of the raid at Mr. Malinowski's home. It has been a month. We have seen nothing. We have heard nothing. We have been presented nothing. The Malinowski family's attorney has released security camera footage from both Malinowski's house and his neighbors. In the videos, it is not clear if ATF agents announced their presence or identified themselves prior to breaking down Malinowski's door. According to a heavily redacted affidavit, Malinowski exchanged gunfire with ATF agents, striking one. Agents returned fire and killed Malinowski. His family and many in the public are questioning the ATF's tactics and its lack of transparency. Why the pre-dawn raid? Did they not? If they didn't, why not? Were they wearing the required body cameras? And where the hell is the footage? I get fearful when I see this type of pre-dawn raid simply to execute a search warrant to a valued member of our community, not some former gangster with a rap sheet or drug convictions, that needs to have a no-knock warrant issued. The affidavit that allowed the search warrant for the raid said Malinowski had broken federal laws by selling guns without a federal firearms license at gun shows. The Malinowski family's attorney says they are still in shock and awaiting answers from the ATF. His wife and family know, you know, fairly little about why the, the federal government uh, investigated him in such, with such heavy-handed tactics. All we can glean from the affidavit is they believed he had crossed some subjective line where he should no longer be considered a hobbyist and should have been considered a person engaged in the business of selling firearms. And if he was that, he needed to buy a $200 license he didn't have. So nobody told him that, nobody wrote him a letter, nobody sent him a cease and desist letter. They kicked his door in at six in the morning and shot him in the head. So uh, a lot of people are, are scratching their heads wondering how that that's proportional. The facts are that this was a search warrant that had been issued. That's all it was. And my concern is that could happen to any one of us as Arkansans. Malinowski's death is under investigation by the Arkansas State Police, and they will hand over their findings to the Pulaski County prosecutor who may determine if charges against the ATF are appropriate. On your side, I'm Andrew Mobley. Andrew, thank you. Cummins says state police are ex expected to conclude their investigation within the next two weeks.